one. Alright, open the thing real quick, because I want to... Oh, apparently I lost a subscriber, that sucks. But we still broke 100. Alright, go ahead and do this. Uh, edit video. I don't like how YouTube doesn't automatically do this. Like, I have to, you know, put the fucking, you know, bullshit with that. You gotta change the date, too, because it says 15 instead of 15. You wanna hear something funny? I actually manually did that. Mm. That wasn't automatic. That was just me. I, I, I just punched that in. Oh. Right here. You see that? Oh, okay. I just, I just punched that in. Okay, so everything looks fine. All right, okay. The time is right. Put this on a playlist, because I am gonna archive this. No. Save changes, cool. Say changes saved, blah, blah. Uh, oops. My account, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Oh, hey, we already got a second like, cool, all right. Okay, also, real quick, in the background, I know this is going to eat up a lot of my bandwidth on the internet, so... Uh, I'm going to upload part 130... What was it? 134, right? Yeah. Go. 134, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that fucker right there. That's the guy with the tuna, and he... Fucked me so hard. Are you aware of that uh, comedy band uh, with those those two chicks? Um, uh, the uh, the the female actresses who like they 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 do like funny songs and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Garfunkel and Oates. No. Um. Haley introduced me to those those lovely ladies, and I I didn't know who they were for the longest time. I'm like, oh cool, but like I know their acting bits. I know that. But I've never actually seen them. I've never actually seen these girls uh, do their music. And they they do like parody songs, kind of like, you know, like almost like a, like a weird Al Yankovic thing, right? Mm. And they had a song of theirs uh, that was about uh, uh, like, uh, like purity and virginity and all that crap. And it was, um, fuck me in the ass because I love Jesus. <clears throat> because apparently it's, it's okay if it's in the butt. You know, okay. like that's, I mean, that's just really weird. <laughs> it's like, so like out of nowhere, just randomly me and Haley would just start singing that song. It's like, fuck me in the ass because I love Jesus. And it's like, we just do that. And you know, you, we get a lot of dirty looks at like Walmart, you know? Cause like, I mean, then again, it's Walmart. Okay. Yeah. Like what, what are you really expecting at Walmart? You know? If anything, if you go to Walmart and you don't see that, it'd be weird. Fuck me in the ass because I love Jesus. It's the sex that God can't see. But yeah, no, that's basically just like, you know, me and Haley would just go to Walmart and just start singing that randomly. <laughs> and we get a lot of, you know, dirty looks from people. Years and years ago, uh, before me and Haley started dating, um, I was at a, I was at Target with a, with a friend of mine, and uh, she had like just started dating her boyfriend, who is now her husband. Uh, they're married now, mm. and um, I, uh, I I we were we were having a very adult conversation in the uh, in the in the um, I don't know if you ever been to uh, Target, but you know. Um, they have like an entire aisle just dedicated to like puzzles, like jigsaw puzzles and stuff and board games. Oh, okay. It's, it's jigsaw puzzles and board games and they're meant for children. And we were having this conversation about our significant others like cheating or something like that. And I asked my friend, I was just like, if you were to catch your significant other 
cheating, would you rather it be with another dude or a, or a different woman that's not you? And like, we're having this conversation and this fucking woman in the next aisle over leaves her aisle and comes screaming around the corner and be like, do you really have to have this conversation right here? And I'm just like, lady, it's, you know, Jesus. <laughs> and she's just like, she got so mad and she's just like, there are children present. And then I just do one of these, I go, where are the children, huh? There's just the three of us. It's me, my friend, and you. There's no kids. What? Yeah. And she's, she got so mad. She's like, she's like, and then just walked away. I'm like, yeah, you're goddamn right. Walk away. And then like, I made it, I made it a point to uh, exit the store very quickly before security showed up. <laughs> I was just like, I am not getting arrested at Target. This is just not happening. And like, even even if I was gonna get caught by security at Target, um, one of my one of my friends was actually the security guard at Target for a <laughs> long time, and uh, um, he was doing the security thing as like kind of like a sort of like internship slash job, right. where um, he was uh, at the, at simultaneously while working at Target as security, he was going to the uh, police academy to go be a cop, right? Mm. And I, I told the story, uh, I think in a, in a, in a previous video, um, but I was, I was telling the story to Haley, I didn't tell you. Um, he still lives at home with mom, right? Okay. This fucking guy is fucking, he's like, he's like the same age as me and he's living at his mom's house, right? Fucking, but, um, and I mean, my brother lives at my dad's house too. And like, they're, they were our next door neighbors. Uh, well... They still are the next door neighbors. They still live at that house. I just don't live there anymore because I moved out like an adult. And then um, he's sitting there in his squad car in his driveway at his mom's house. And my brother, who was about to get into his car to go, go to work, right? My brother's working on a pizza joint. Mm. And like he just gets in the car and doesn't even start the engine. And my brother's got a fuzz buster in his car and... He's got the fucking radar gun pointed at my brother's car in the parking in the driveway. <laughs> Why do you have the radar gun pointed at him in the parking lot? Or the, that keeps in the parking lot, the driveway. And my brother, he just whips out his camera and he starts filming. He's like, "Really? In the driveway? Really?" <laughs> and it's he like, must he's, have been really boy and needed some action <laughs> in your driveway at your house, yeah. like. What's and this? This is why I want to get a fuzzbuster. You know, I was like, "Fuck that shit, man." I like how they're not even technically illegal; they're just frowned upon. You know, it's like, he's like, you get if even you do get caught by a cop, they're just like, "Oh, you're not supposed to have that." I'm like, "Is it illegal?" And they're like, "No." I'm like, "All right, suck my dick." You know. Uh, a couple of Christmases ago, uh, Haley's mom got us a dash cam. But I didn't want to hook it up in my old car because it was it was the principal because my old car was such a piece of shit. Now that I have you know my nice new car, my my brand new car, right. um, I am gonna hook up the dash cam in there. But the problem is, it's lost in the closet somewhere, and that fucking sucks. I can't find the goddamn dash cam, and that's frustrating. It's like all I want to do is just hook up the dash cam in my car and get a fuzzbuster, which is like you know another three hundred dollars right there that I don't want to spend. But then again, you know. After two tickets, it kind of pays for itself because, you know, tickets like 150 right now, mm. and, you know, within two tickets it pays for itself because, you know, and then everyone after that is like, I'll never get another ticket again. Like that's just how math works. All right. I know I have a sea bass. I know that. So let's. Yeah, uh, you did catch one. I did. All right. You know what? All right. Boys. Hold on. And you caught a clown fish. Yeah, the red snapper sells for like four grand. That'd be nice. All right. Hold on. All right. I'm not worried about you. I don't give a fuck about you. Oh, dude, we got three people watching now. Yo, say what's up in the chat. Hey. What's up? I like how as soon as I said that we lost somebody. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, no, because I'm watching the thing right now. I'm also keeping an eye on the chat. 
tearful. Hey, dude, it's me, Comfy. I keep I keep changing my profile. No, you don't. Don't worry about it, Comfy. Comfy shows up. Oh shit, there's a balloon. Comfy shows up to all of our live stream. I haven't been on that much either, so it's cool to see you again. Yeah, no, this, we this is like our first live stream we did in a while. Um, I was just looking for an excuse to live stream, and I thought the uh, the fishing tourney was gonna be a good one. Yeah, I know. Well, no, I also have to wait for it to get, you know. Because if I shoot it now, it's going to fall in the damn river. Woo! And it's also a purple balloon, so I don't I don't know. I don't know what that's going to be. Oh, shit. All right, cool. All right. So a piece of the Mario furniture. Which you can only get from the balloons, which is nice. But hey, co uh, Comfy. Oh, hey, it's Commodore. Woo, what's up? Uh, Comfy, as as far as the uh, the live streaming goes, it's, it's like I mean, it's, it's good to see you too. Thank you. Cause I know I, I know you said it was cool to see me, but it's cool to see you. You know. Thank you. We got com we got Commodore. We got Cozy. All right. Let's go ahead and drop the sea bass. Uh, current record, by the way, is. 40.6 inches, and my last one that I had was, uh, 37.7. Oh, you bitch! Ouch, too bad, kiddo. Gap, okay. That's the record. Yeah. Well, I'm not worried about that. I, I need I need to beat the 40.6. These horse macros ain't gonna give me shit. Um, that red snapper, though, is expensive, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go sell that. But yeah, no, the red snappers are expensive, which is great. How did the modding go? I didn't do it yet. I'm sorry, man. Um, I don't think I can do it on the Wii U, but I'm just asking out of curiosity, man. That's all. No, no, don't worry about it, man. You're good. Trust me. I'm actually very, very pleased, but I don't know. I do have a way to get the rest of the fruits uh, without online. Um, it's going to be a huge pain in the ass, but... Oh, you know what? Jordan, do you have a Nintendo Wii? No. That's not... God damn it. I was about to say, do you have one that's not broken? I know Tyler has one, but getting getting a hold of Tyler sucks. Because in addition to his job, he just now got a girlfriend, which his girlfriend's really cool, by the way. Um. But yeah, no. Um, Getting a hold of Tyler sucks. Because what I was going to do was I was going to steal his Wii for a little bit. And uh, I, need, I was going to go ahead and start up a save file on his Wii. Um, and just keep resetting until I get the fruits that I need. And then there's a way to transfer your character to this thing called the DS suitcase. Which basically you just put your character in your pocket in the DS. And then go over to your buddy's house. And like you're able to go to his thing without internet. So what I was going to do was is I was going to get a spare Nintendo Wii. That, I'm not, that nobody cares if I reset the save file or not. And just keep resetting the save file until I get the rest of the fruits. So, mm. it's a huge pain in the ass, but I was gonna, that's what I was going to do. Um, but you know what I did that I was surprised didn't work? Is, um, uh, what I did was, is we got Animal Crossing on the DS. Uh, it was called Wild World, right? Mm. And what I did was, is I know you could transfer your playable character from Wild World to this game, because it's supposed to be a prequel. Um, Wild World is supposed to be a prequel to City Folk, and then, um, you can transfer your character to the new game, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, I only have one copy of Animal Crossing on the Wii myself, so what I was going to do was, I was going to pop the disc out of my Wii, put the disc into Tyler's Wii, start up the save file, transfer the character with the DS suitcase, um, and then after that was done, I was going to turn off the Wii, pop out the disc, put the copy of the game back into my Wii, Load up the save file and just do the DS suitcase from there. If I need two copies of the game, that's really, really going to suck. Um, so I should probably test that, but there's no real way for me to test that without already having the second copy of the game. So I don't know. Um, I'm hoping I can just turn it off and pop out the game and put it back into my system. So, yeah. It's like the GameCube's game th card thing. Yeah, no, where you just stick your memory card, right? Cause like you could uh you could pop uh you could pop the memory card into somebody else's GameCube. Oh yeah, that's probably how you get. 
That's probably how you get uh, all the fruits in that game. Okay, I didn't know that. So yeah, if I ever wanted to get all the fruits in the GameCube one, which I do want to do, um, I have an idea for a sequel series to this game. Um, Cause I said it before is like, I'm giving myself from January 1st to December 31st, hundred percent this game. And then after that, I was going to go do other Animal Crossing games. So. All right, that's not the knife jaw. I know that because it, oh, what the fuck in the, okay. All right, that's supposed to be a river fish. We got five people watching. That's great. It's one of the highest concurrent viewers we have for videos. I just burnt my shrimp. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. All right, well, okay. Well, it wasn't a sea bass, so that's fine. Wait, how do you burn your shrimp? Mm, that's a good question. Do you remember that? Uh, me and Haley had this conversation the other day. I, mean, I think if you were cooking it, maybe in oil and like kind of frying it, maybe you could Oh shit! That. Yo, yo, yo! Yo, these things sell for a lot of money. This is like 2500 bucks right here. I can also hear another balloon. God, yes! Alright! Oh, you, okay. Uh, Cozy said that she, they were frying their shrimp. I told you. <laughs> Have you ever seen that commercial for uh, that Jap- it, Okay, now, oh yeah, mind you. I'm gonna explain the commercial in great detail. It's a Japanese commercial, and obviously they don't speak English. But that's not why people aren't understanding the commercial. Um, they were trying to cook shrimp, like, instantly. Mm -hmm. So, what they did was they set up this fucking Rube Goldberg machine where they put a thing of shrimp on a catapult. Okay. And they flung the shrimp on the catapult through like a jet engine or something. That was, and there was like there was a a a, a, a little sprinkler system, like kind of like like a like a fire thing, right? Mm. But instead of water, it was like sprinkling butter, right? Okay. It was there was the the jet engine for heat to to cook the stuff, the butter for flavoring and like sh uh, uh, salt, flour, like all the all the stuff you make for like fried shrimp, right? So, like, these two Japanese girls put the shrimp on the catapult, flung the catapult across a jet engine and butter and all this stuff. And, like, they, uh, at the end of the catapult, they hit, like, a little net to stop them from flying. Bounced off the net, landed onto a plate, and then they started eating it. What do you think that commercial was supposed to be for in Japan? You're not going to get it. I don't know, it's Japan, you definitely you know you should see some some of the old. Do you do you, do you do you do you want me to give you do you want me to give you one hint in this this actually this isn't gonna give it away but do you want me to give you a hint? Yeah. It's not for shrimp. It's not for shrimp. Big shocker there. If you, oh, could, okay. if you couldn't tell by my uh you know. Okay. Um, it's not for shrimp. You, not you're for you're not gonna guess what it is. Okay, let me think. Oh shit. Mm. What is it for? I don't think they would eat steak in Japan. <laughs> no, wait, do they? No. Anyway, uh, was it for like eel? Mm. It's not even food at all. Oh, okay. It's either the shrimp or the catapult. No. The uh, it was a Japanese commercial. It was like they they had a. They're 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 like. It's it. No, do you, cozy. Do you, you want to know what it is? Because if I tell Jordan, then that means I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. It was for cell phones. It was like the I think it was like the Japanese equivalent of like Boost Mobile or whatever. Wow. You can go look up the commercial right now, and it's like, yeah, yeah. No, it was it was for cell phones. It was some fucking cell phone commercial. It was these two Japanese chicks and they were frying up shrimp like with like a jet engine or something. And like they had a sprinkler system with butter and like they were, they, they powder. Yeah. <laughs> How's that qualify for cell phones? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's like you said it yourself. It's a Japanese fucking thing, right? <laughs> right. Oh, wait, why, what am I doing at the museum? Wait, no, hold on, hold on. Oh, 
okay, I don't know why I'm here. I don't have I don't have anything for the museum. I was like, wait. No, but yeah, no, that's like one of my favorite Japanese commercials ever because it's like it's so Japanese, like like us dumb Americans would never believe that shit unless you saw it for yourself. Cuz like at the very end of the commercial, like the last 2 seconds, it pops up like the the logo. It pops up the logo for the for the cell phone company and it's just like something something mobile. I'm like, "What?" It's for cell phones. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. It's, it was no connection to the shrimp. But yeah, that was my probably my favorite Japanese commercial. In addition to a lot of the PlayStation commercials, because like... Um, a lot of the PlayStation commercials... Oh, shit! I broke the record! Nice. By four inches! I think these things cap out at, uh, 50 inches, so that'd be nice. Uh. Alright, so I'm currently in first place. Uh, let's go ahead and edit the thing real quick. 44.6. Okay. Current record, 44.6. My record... 44.6. You bitch. <laughs> Type that. Thank you. I, had you not said anything, I would have noticed. Yeah. All right, save changes. Go back so I can view the chat. Oh. That's a new record. Okay, cool. All right. So now I'm going to have to one-up myself if I want, you know, if I want to get, you know, prizes and stuff. Can I please go back to the damn stream? Jesus. Burp. All right. All right, go back to the stream. Okay, so it's muted. Cool. Still got people watching. Check. All right. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Nope. I, I accidentally full screened it. Okay. A blue cabinet. Cool. All right. Too bad it's not the green cabinet. All right. Okay, so now all I got to do is just keep one-upping myself. Because if my record gets beat, I'm not going to get the gold trophy. I like how the first fishing contest that I entered, I won. But I only got the silver trophy. I was like, I got first place. Why'd I get silver? Oh shit, a peacock, all right. Oh shit, two peacocks. You need those butterflies? Yeah. They're rare and they're expensive. Mm. They only show up on crossbred flowers, which which is why I have the black flowers right here. Really, dude? Thank you, Jesus. I think I yeah, uh, well, no, 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 no. It's, it's black, blue, and purple flowers that they show up on. Bitch. Really? Uh, black, blue, and purple, and I have, I have black right here next to my house so I can get these. They're not as expensive as I'm making them out to be, but they are pretty expensive. So that's nice. Alright, so before we go fishing for more sea bass... You know what? Oh, okay, you know what? I was about to say, I was gonna say you deserve to live, but that's fine. All right. Oh, you know what? In the title of the video, I forgot to say fishing tourney. Shit. I'll probably get, you know, a little bit more people viewing. Thank you. All right. Oh, shit. Oops. Okay. All right. Fishing tourney. All right. Hey, slimy cheesecake! Did you watch the piano? I did not watch the piano. I fill me in on that. What what piano we're we talking about again? I forgot. Oh, God. Sell the blue cabinet. The piano. Four grand. Cool. All right. Let me get a lot of money. The guy- Oh, wait, that's right. No, yeah, we did watch that. Yeah. It was also a couple of weeks ago, and I don't remember off the top of my head, but we did we did watch it. Me and, me and Haley sat down and watched it. It was pretty funny. But, thank you. Appreciate that. So, so far, we're getting all the regular viewers that we get in our live streams. We got, we got, a, we got Cozy, we got Commodore, and we got Cheesecake. Cheesecake shows up at all our streams. 
There was a stream that we did a long time ago where, um, uh, I was live streaming, uh, New Horizons, which actually has, um, online play still, because it just came out. Mm. What were your opinions? Uh, again, it was a couple of weeks ago, and I don't remember readily off the top of my head, but, uh, from what I think, I think it was funny, for, as far as my opinion goes. But yeah, no, we were doing a live stream a couple of weeks ago, and there was, um, um, I was letting people come over to our, uh, our island in, uh, in Animal Crossing. And I, I, as soon as I opened the gate, uh, we had people watching in the live stream. I thought, you know, people were just showing up, right? Oh shit. Okay. And so people were showing up, uh, to the live stream. And then I get a notification like, Hey, somebody's on their way over to your island. I'm like, all right, cool. You know? And, uh, it was this, this, this random person who wasn't even watching the live stream. They just happened to get into my island. I'm like, oh, okay. I got a new air conditioner. I know I live in the Southern Hemisphere, but I still want air. Yeah. Summertime in Chicago is getting pretty weird. Well, it's more like spring, but still. Dude, it got hot the other day, man. Do you remember, do you remember that heat wave that we went through? Oh, wait, it's going to get be in the 70s, 70s all week and then the starting next week we're going to reach a couple of days of the 80s right yeah i'm kind of upset that there's not really a lot of sun right now because i have i have my crops up against the window so they can get you know some sunlight but because of the cloud coverage there's there's no um there's no uh there's no uh sun right now because the clouds i'm hoping to get just a little bit of uv on them you know Those habaneros, I'm actually really happy for. Dude, when was the last time you watched Cars? The movie Cars? Yeah, the, the Pixar movie. No. <laughs> it was Larry the Cable Guy as... Oh, yeah. shit. Is that another Raja? Dude, this is another Raja. Oh, shit. No, wait. What the fuck is this? Yeah, it is a Raja. Okay, that's... Dude. Oh, shit. $2,500 for this. It's like, every time I see it, I have to catch it. Get all oh, you little... God damn it. <laughs> Why is she going to circle around and go back the other way? Where the fuck is it? <laughs> I did exactly what I said. God. <laughs> no, watch it just despawn. Well, there's a uh, ladybug. Yeah, no, watch it just despawn. God damn it. All right. Well, yeah, it's, it's if it's not here, then I'm probably just despawned. Mm. But yeah, no, the reason I brought up Cars is uh, uh, Slimy Cheesecake uh, is he's trying to get me to watch Cars. And I'm like, I watched it in theaters when I was a little kid. I haven't seen it since. I can't remember if I own it or not, if I haven't watched it. Like you know what's even better? Years. I have the uh, the Cars Race Rama video game on the PlayStation 2. Or I don't remember if it's Race Rama, but I know. I know for a fact that it's 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 some Disney Pixar's cars on a, oh shit on a on the on the PlayStation Two, and as a joke, me and Haley uh, said that we were gonna play it for uh um, uh for YouTube. Mm. I have my PlayStation hooked up and everything. I just I just need to you know whip out my game, but cheesecake. Would you would you watch uh the Cars video game on PlayStation Two? Cause I have it. If we if we did a if we did a let's play in it. I know it's crazy is I still have not seen the second cars or the third cars movie. No, yeah, me too. I think that's just a generational thing because yeah. like, I think off the top of my head that when Cars came out, I think I was on the tail end of my whole Pixar stuff. Yeah. I have not seen Meet the Robinsons. No, I think that was like I said a little after my time. Okay, Cozy would watch it too. All right, yeah. go bust out the PS2. You know what's funny? In anticipation of getting a PlayStation 3, I started buying up buying up a bunch of PlayStation 3 games just cuz. Mm. Um Did you get Heavenly Swords? For PS3? Yeah. No. Darn. Oh shit. Alright, hold on. But yeah, no, there was um uh there was a sale on PS3 shit, and I was just like, alright, and I got like I got like 15 PS3 games for like 10 bucks, and I was like, alright. It was great too, cuz. Um, go insane in the desert. All right. Is that a level in the game or what?
All right, so that's okay. That's three sea bass right now. Oh, okay, you know what? All right, fuck this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go turn in my sea bass. We got like a little over two hours until the the fishing turn is over. Wait, is it five p.m. or is it six p.m.? I don't remember. I think it's five. Oh shit! There's another balloon. It's car. It's the cars after credit scene. Oh, you know what? Because it's Disney, it's probably on Disney Plus, and we just canceled our Disney Plus subscription. Oh, yeah. Well, to be fair, the reason why we did that is because... Oh, cool. All right. Uh, Haley was the one that was paying for Disney Plus because when she signed up for Hulu, uh, Hulu was just like, hey, if you get Disney Plus, we'll give you like five bucks off. So we're like, all right. And so we had Disney Plus for like six months, and then that's when the deal expired. And then Haley's just like, yeah, no, uh, our Hulu subscription just skyrocketed. And I'm like, okay, well, what can we do to make it cheaper? It's like, we, we could drop, you know, Disney Plus. I'm like, okay. And that's exactly what we did. Mm. So we still have Hulu. Because the, the deal that we have, because like we don't have cable. We just have, you know, uh, streaming services. And I pay for Netflix and she pays for Hulu. And that's just what our arrangement is. I mean, yeah, but it's not it's not gonna break the record. So, I only he only gives me a reward if I break the record, which is why I'm saying I have to constantly one up myself. Yeah. I can't I can't one up anybody else because it's like, once that number goes up, the next number after that, in order to get a prize, has to be higher. So like, you just constantly like, and I think I think the sizes caps out at 50 inches. So if I get a 50 incher, then you know that's that's just it's just over. The fishing tournament's just over. So I'm kind of hoping to do that. It's either 50 or 60 inches. I don't remember. All right, well. All right. Hey, look, as long as I can, you know. Also, sea bass aren't really worth that much. They're, they're super cheap. So I was like, I don't mind just constantly giving them to them. All right, last one, and then we're uh, we gotta go fishing again. Ah, okay. All right. Uh. All right. Well, I don't know if this is any indication. He said it's a strong lead. But it's not the it's not the maximum size that I can get. I think if I get the maximum size, nobody can one up me. So that'd be great. Yeah. Why? Wait. Why are you trying to leave us? Come join the circus. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm willing to bet that's probably a line from the movie. That sounds like something they would say in cars. Because weren't they weren't they trying to get Lightning McQueen to stay? Yeah, they were. But I don't remember there being a circus in that movie. Again, I haven't seen it since I was a little kid, so I don't yeah. know. I. Nah, I, unless that has to do with either this one of the sequels, in which case, like I said, I haven't seen Cars 2 or the third one. Do you remember when they did planes to, like, try to capitalize on the success <laughs> yeah, of Cars? Yeah, I, I don't think it, I think it made hardly any money because, you know, people were like Cars. Yeah, they, they were slamming it pretty hard, weren't yeah. they? Oh, shit. All right. Well, here's another fish. I cannot wait until June for the June bugs. Oh, you know what? Okay. At least that's not going to piss him off. If this were the newer Animal Crossing games... Oh, a squid. All right. That's like 400 bucks right there, so that's fine. I like the villain of Planes 2. Wait, there was a Planes 2? What? I didn't even know. Okay, wait. Hold on a second. I think we need to stop for a second and talk to, talk to Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Wait, they made a Planes 2? Well, that's like kind of like me, cause like I like the uh, the bad guy from RoboCop two, and everybody's just like, well, why the the bad guy from RoboCop one was so good? I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, no offense to Kurtwood Smith, I just I don't know why I like Kane better, you know. The bad guy from RoboCop two is fucking great, you know. Like Kurtwood Smith as you know the bad guy again, you know. Also, do you remember do you remember Dick Jones in uh in uh, RoboCop the original? Do you remember Dick Jones? No, let me think. Hold on. 
Paul Verhoeven, the director of Robocop, the first one, not the second one, because the second one was Irving Kirshner, and I didn't realize this for the longest time that uh, Irving Kirshner, he's, he's the guy that did Empire Strikes Back. Okay. So Empire Strikes Back was the sequel to Star Wars. People know that. Right. And then Robocop 2, obviously having 2 in the title, was the sequel to the original Robocop. Mm. So Irving Kirshner did the two sequels to the two movies that I fucking love, right? So he's like, he's the guy that basically made the sequels to my childhood, right? And I was like, I didn't know that for the longest time. And um, the the woman that did uh, the character of Robocop's partner, um, uh, Officer Ann Lewis, I don't, uh, Nancy Allen, that's her name. Uh, Nancy Allen fucking hates Irving Kirshner, and she almost didn't do RoboCop 2 because of him. Almost. Mm. And the only reason she still did the movie was because uh, she was told um, that they were going to get a different director, and then obviously they didn't. Mm. But she bit her lip and did RoboCop 2. Oh, shit. Mm. She bit her lip and did RoboCop 2... Uh, because they kept telling her that they were going to get a different director. And I'm like, all right, that's not how that works, but... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that, that Nancy Allen fucking hates Irving Kirshner. But, um... Uh... Yeah, no, uh, Paul Verhoeven, he, um... He, uh, uh... The bad guy of Dick Jones... Uh, was the, the actor, his name is Ronnie Cox. And up until that point, Ronnie Cox always played like good, lovable characters that people want to root for, right? Right. And Paul Verhoeven basically said, I want to make you the bad guy simply because it'd be really funny or something like that, where it's just like, you look at like Ronnie Cox's like filmography, like all the characters that he played, it's like, I didn't. I don't know if this is just because I grew up after the fact, but, like, I've never seen anything that Ronnie Cox was in other than, you know, Robocop. And it was just funny, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, no. It's the name of the CAD spinner. Is he a luxury SUV and the owner of Mounting Something Lodge? Okay, all right. But yeah, no, that's the only reason why Paul Verhoeven cast Ronnie Cox as Dick Jones was because he wanted to see him play a bad guy. Because mm. he never did. Yeah. And he was very convincing. He was able to flex his acting chops. I say he did a pretty good job. I like Dick Jones. I think it was cool. And there was also another part in that same movie uh, where Kurtwood Smith was talking to uh, Ronnie Cox as Dick, as Dick Jones. And it was like right after Robocop just beat the shit out of Clarence Bodiger, who was Kurtwood Smith. And um, as Robocop was just beating the shit out of him, uh, he was, you know, confessing to a bunch of crimes. And he was like, he's like, I wasn't working alone. I work for a guy named Dick Jones. Dick Jones, he hired me. And so, you know, Robocop, he's recording everything, right? So it was yeah. like, and then Ronnie Cox was just like, his, you confess to Robocop, his memories are immiscible as proof in a court of law, you idiot. He goes, look at my face, dick. He was beating the shit out of me. Yeah. And then, um. I remember that. Yeah, and then Ronnie Cox just sits him down and he's like, you know what? Maybe we can be friends. You know, maybe, maybe we're going about this all wrong. You know what? I'm going to hook you up with some really, it's like, uh. Uh, the, the, you know, you remember those snipers that were firing like RPGs, you yeah. remember, right? The, the Cobra, whatever it was, the, oh, 45 inches. Oh shit. Nice. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. No. So he was, um, he sits down and he's like, you know what? Maybe we can be friends, Richard. And it's just like, he, his name is Dick Jones and he was calling him like, look at my face, Dick. But it's his name, right? right? And then when he sits down on the couch, he's like, maybe we can't be friends, Richard. And I was like, oh shit. Do you get it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Richard. Fucking Christ. But yeah, no, it was like, that's fucking, that was great. And it's like, that's really good acting, you know? 
<laughs> Look at my face, dick. <laughs> a blue clock. Oh, so what? Is he just gonna give me a bunch of blue stuff? Apparently. God damn it. Okay, hold on. I, I need to get back to the stream because I, 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 I looked away from the stream for a minute to go ahead and update the text thing. Okay, so we're still watching. At the midway through the credits, Cad Spinner is shown at Death Valley as a ranger with a cute little hat. Okay. Again, I haven't seen cars in a long time. I have no idea. All right. Cool. So at least I one up myself. That's nice. Yeah. And again, he gives me he gives me rewards. Oh shit! Balloon. You didn't see it? No, I missed it. Oh, yeah. There it is. All right, dude. Super mushroom. So I got the pipe to quit, dude. I, I'm getting like three things today, man. Great. That's awesome. You know what? Hold on. Where's the green pipe? That's a satellite. It's a mumble bear. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is it. Alright. So here's what I'm gonna do. Everybody's looking for a way to get the real gone gone. Wait, what? Real gone, real gone. I okay. I do I do like reading the comments from Slime and Cheesecake, because I have no idea what they're talking about. But it's 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 it's, it's good comments. Any comment's a good comment, honestly. Because it's good for the engagement, because, like, oh, you know what? Whoa. All right, well, okay, this is going to be really weird. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and put the pipe away, but I'm not going to... Shit. Okay. Oh, you know what? Okay, so I have mushrooms over there. Oh, wait. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, you know what? I just realized something that I've never been... Not never, but... I haven't I haven't been to the Able Sisters yet, so I have no idea. Oh, yeah, so I got... Okay, so I got the uh, the R-Wing from Star Fox, nice. the banana peel from Mario Kart, and Yoshi's Egg, and then the, 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 the turtle shells. Basically, anything Nintendo I'm putting in this room. Hmm. It's just my Nintendo room. Sing guy promise not bash the piano. <laughs> in the piano. So I'm I'm pretty I'm in pretty good standing to win the fishing tourney. It's gonna be great. Alright. So let's, you know. How many more sea bass do you think I should get before I call it quits? Because I think max size is 50 inches and 45 inches is pretty good. Yeah. I don't think anybody's gonna beat that. I don't think so either. I mean, to be on the safe side, maybe try to get just a, a little well, tiny yeah. bit more higher. And then but yeah, I'm gonna have to one up myself. And that's you know, yeah. it's not guaranteed. Oh shit! Wait, there's something over here. Hold on. I saw it on the stream. Oh, okay, all right. That's gotta be something. I mean, even if it's not a sea bass, if it's the knife jaw, that'd be really good. Cause I can donate to that to the museum. Somebody's calling you. Uh, that's my four o'clock alarm. Oh, it's just your alarm? Okay. Yeah. Sing about anime girls. Uh what are the uh what are the what are the English lyrics to uh um the, the Soul Eater theme song? You know, I don't know. I actually I used to know uh it was uh it's uh Resonance by TM Revolution. I used to know that song like in English uh by you, heart. You wanna know what sounds really good in Japanese, but then when you see the English translation and hear it in English dubbing, it just doesn't uh it let me... doesn't it doesn't feel the same anymore, and that's the bleach theme song. Okay, I thought you were gonna say the uh the FMA theme song, and uh, that's actually pretty good in English. Yeah. No, There's a uh, an American artist. I think her name's uh, uh, Anna Marie, or I, I forget. It's, it's it's Anna something, and she. Oh shit! She uh, she I does. Know who you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, she does English uh, covers of Japanese anime theme songs, and uh, one of the ones that she did was uh, an English cover of. Um, uh, uh, it's the song's called Again by Yui. Mm. 
Um, and it was the uh, the opening theme song for FMA, yeah. and it's actually really good. Yeah. And uh, the only reason why like it kind of doesn't work, and like this is just my this is just my gripe as an English speaking American, um, is that because Japanese is such a condensed language where it's just like you can say so much more with like so little words, and like. Um, the, the song itself is like three minutes because Japanese is just so quick, but when you turn it into English, because there's more words per sentences and per, per lines, mm. like if you translate it a hundred percent, the song is like four and a half minutes. Mm. So, and like, also you have like the instrumentals, you have the music parts, you have all of that. When they were doing the cover, they had to redo the instrumentals and like stretch them longer to fit the fucking song. Uh, what? Slimy Cheesecake is telling you to scene about anime girls. <laughs> no, yeah, I saw that. That's why I brought up the, the the anime thing. I was just like, do you know the English lyrics for this song? I'm like, yeah. But yeah, no. Uh, Resonance by TM Revolution is pretty good in English. Um, Again by Yui is pretty good in English. Um... Uh, a lot of the, the flow songs are pretty good. Uh, Go and uh, what's the other one? Signs, Colors, all those songs. Those are pretty good in English. Um, I mean, they're pretty good in Japanese too. I'm just, I'm just saying that like, um, I want to be able to sing along even though if it's in a diff different language. Yeah. Um, and try as I might, for some weird reason, I know it's not an anime thing, but try as I might, I can't find an English adaptation of... Uh, uh, Gangnam Style by uh, Psy, mm. and you know what's actually pretty funny? Do you want to you want to hear something funny about uh, uh, Gangnam Style by uh, by Psy? Sure. Uh, apparently, it's not a song about girls. It's not about you know dancing. It's not about really anything like that. Um, Gangnam is like a really rich neighborhood in South Korea, oh. and it's like uh, Psy is trying to make fun of Gangnam because it's like. In order to live there, you have to be, like, really rich. And it was ironic that that song made Psy rich enough to live in Gangnam. <laughs> so, it's just, like, it's, like, it's it's kind of, like, you know, like, you know, it's ironic where it's just, like, it's it, he's supposed to be making fun of Gangnam. Instead, he's, you know, now he's rich enough to live there, you know? That's funny. But, yeah, no, it's weird. It's just, I, I don't know. It's, like, it's, I was watching a, uh, uh. Uh, a top 10 list about uh, songs that like aren't what you think they're about or like they're they're actually something else mm. and a lot of them I did know and it's just like uh, one of them that was also on that same list it was like um, uh, Time of Your Life by Green Day where people are always just like it's like oh it's a happy song it's you know it's about you know having the time of your life no actually the actual name of that song is called Good Riddance and it was actually about breakups and I knew that yeah, it's actually it's actually a breakup song, oh, you know, okay. and it's just like, where's the like the like where you hear that song very commonly at graduation, right? And like I'm like, they had that song at my graduation, you know. Yeah. But yeah, no, they had that. Yeah, and also a lot of wedding songs. Like you get like songs at weddings where it's like you got like um, what the people think are love songs, and they're actually about you know cheating and stuff. That's messed up. Yeah. So like, I'm gonna go out of my way to not have those songs at my wedding. You know, let's really super quick. Let's go to the Able Sisters just because I want to see what pieces of clothes. Yep, thank you, thank you, cheesecake, Jason style. <laughs> you know that's gonna be a hit single on my album. <laughs> yeah, no, they don't have any clothes that I want. I'm not gonna be able to pay for it, but. I'm not gonna be able to pay for it, but I kind of want the king's crown. It's like a million dollars. I'm not gonna be able to pay for it. Yikes! Why is it so much? I don't know. There's always that item in every Animal Crossing game. So I need to put a million dollars in the bank to uh, to get the gold credit card. And once I get the gold credit card, I'm gonna withdraw the money out of my account and donate it towards the town fund. And if you give a million dollars to the town fund, they'll put it in a lighthouse or a windmill. Mm. And I kind of want the lighthouse because the lighthouse looks cool and the windmill looks like shit. Okay. Fire truck. My wedding song was Snow Mister. 
don't think I've heard that song. 38, no. And then there was also, um, um, Every Breath You Take by, uh, uh, The Police. That's actually a stalker song. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Shit. The lyric, I'll be watching you, is in that song, like, 14 times. When you hear I'll be watching you 14 times, it's like, yeah, yeah this guy's stalking this person. <laughs> Which I actually, again, I knew that. A lot of these songs that were on that the, on that top 10 list is like, I knew. It's like songs that aren't what you think you're about. And it's like, 30, okay, no. That tied my first fish that I did. Yeah. But yeah, no, it was like, uh, Sia doing the Gundam style uh, was the thumbnail for the video. And I'm like, wait, uh, Gundam style is not within like that, you know, but yeah, it's crazy. I really want those pink, uh, pink Cosmos, but I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna get them. I have no idea how the fuck to get the carnations. I'd like the cell, please. Thank you. That's <laughs> My, the little <laughs> My little pony. My little pony. Do you know that bronies are banned from Comic Con for life? Bronies. Bronies. You know what I'm talking about? Bronies? Those grown ass men who fucking go to Comic Con dressed as My Little Pony. Oh, seriously? They got banned from uh, Comic Con. Why? I mean, I know it's kind of weird, but. Well, no, I think it. I think it was uh, just them getting really aggressive with people, like talking about My Little Pony. Uh. And like it got so bad to the point where they they almost banned furries, almost, but they didn't. Um, but like I think furries are like really close to getting banned from Comic Con. Again, not that I would know that from experience. I'm just you know. Oh shit! Okay, I got a piece of furniture. I don't know what the hell that is, but. Deposit some money. All right, uh, 59, two, two, two. cool, all right, all right, I'm not going to update this in the text thing, but I am going to update it on this, on my notepad. All right, and then I have $370,000. Three, six, seven. Cool. All right. Just got some. All right. Don't be mean to furries. I'm not. I'm just saying, like they, uh, they, they got into a little bit of trouble at Comic Con. I'm not. I'm not being mean to furries. Yeah. Who wants to say shout out to Lola Bunny? <laughs> yeah, I feel like. Yeah, you know what? I wasn't gonna say that, but like, I feel like people who grew up with Space Jam, Space Jam probably turned a lot of my generation into furries. Yeah. <laughs> Because, like, you know Dan, right? He really wants to fuck Lola Bunny. <laughs> right. Yeah, no. But, yeah, no. I'm not in no way, shape, or form of my dissing furries. I'm just, you know. They got in a little bit of trouble at Comic-Con. That's all I'm saying. Same thing with, uh, you know, bronies. Bronies are definitely banned, but, you know. <laughs> it was just funny. Sing Let It Go. I don't know the lyrics to Let It Go, because I did not watch Frozen. <laughs> Neither did I. No. I, I, I think my younger brother watched part and he, like, left the room because he couldn't deal with the scene. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Haley thought that I wouldn't like Mulan because of the singing. And I was just like, well, babe, if you want to watch Mulan with me, I'll watch Mulan with you, you know? And she's like, okay, let's watch Mulan. We did, you know? You know, I actually got the live action film of that and I still haven't watched it yet. Oh, do you have it on DVD? Yeah. All right, cool. Because the reason why I didn't watch it back when we had Disney Plus was because in addition to paying the subscription for Disney Plus, you also had to pay a $30 fucking rental fee just to watch Mulan on Disney Plus. I'm like, Yikes. I'm already paying you guys, you know, you know, like I'm not paying an extra $30 just to watch fucking Mulan. I'm not doing that. That's insane. But... And then just to throw Haley a curveball, 
Um, like the next day, I sat her down and was like, "Hey, do you want to watch Mulan 2? And she's like, "You want to watch Mulan 2? And I'm like, "Sure, yeah, why not? You know, we already watched the first one. Let's watch the second one. We did." And she's just like, "Oh, it's a it's a B." I was like, "No, she's uh." <laughs> Haley was just like, "I didn't have to convince you. I didn't." He's like, "You made this decision on your own free will." I'm like, "Yeah." She's like, "Who are you?" I'm like. I want to watch a movie with you, Jesus! No, <laughs> damn. Like, can I not sit down on my couch with my woman and watch a movie on my TV, you know? Like, like, are you really gonna complain? I, I love her, I really do. Play Mobile the Movie. Mm. I've never heard of that. What the, what the fuck is Mobile the Movie? Play Mobile. I can't say I have either. I, what the hell is that? I don't know if this is me being old or Cheesecake being young, but like, I have like, I'm not getting these references. And usually I'm the reference guy where like, I know references. I'm gonna type that into Google, the, the snow, oh, all right. Nope, the, uh, the, the snow, the stone is here. Oh, you know what, hold on a second. I don't have to get just sea bass. Hold on, I wanna see something real quick. What's the biggest possible fish I can get right now? Cause it's it's all about the size. It, it's not the fish itself, it's the size. About 24 inches, all right, hold on. Ooh, gross. Oh, oh okay, all right. That says about, but I think max size is 50, so... Oh, right, because you got a 45 right now. That's so. th about 32, okay, so, yeah. Yeah, no, because, yeah, that, that proves it right there, but, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. About 20 inches. About 36, oof. It's all from about 32, all year. Oh, I don't know, it's all year, okay. I'm just trying to see, is there any bigger fish I can get? These are out of season, but you know. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, no, I'm so glad I caught this. Cheesecake is saying that it's based off of me. Is a movie based off of me? Well, how come I'm not getting any royalties? <laughs> If there's a movie about me, I want, I want, I want, I want in on that action. You know, I want a slice of that pie, dude. Now I kind of want pie. I'm hungry. You want, you want pie? <laughs> nah, I'm still full of the Wendy's. Yeah, dude, I can't believe that they gave us those free nuggets. You know? <laughs> right, that was. Cool. I was like, I look at the bag. I'm like, God damn it, they didn't give me the spicy nugs. They gave me the regular nugs. And I go to the dude. I'm like, Hey man, these are supposed to be spicy nugs. And the guy's like. Oh, he just gives me. He just gives us nugs for free. Yeah. Dude, I'm like, I am really sketched out. I'm really sketched out going to Wendy's because like they do not give a shit. You know, I was like, I I know Taco Bell gets that kind of stereotype where people are just like, oh yeah, it's Taco Bell. They don't give a shit. <laughs> Every time I go to Taco Bell, they do. That's funny. Speaking of pie, Willy Wonka. <laughs> Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. The chocolate tear. Oh, dude, have you ever heard of, uh, of a YouTube channel called um, uh, Fact Fiend? Mm. It's, it's a show run by this guy. His name's uh, Carl Smallwood. I fucking love this dude. And um, it's, it's a bunch of British dudes just sitting around just talking, you know, about, like, various trivia facts and stuff from, like, movies and stuff. And one of his all-time favorite movies to talk about is Robocop. But um, they did a video a while back about Willy Wonka where um, uh, they were talking about, uh, G uh, what was it, Gene Wilder, right? That was the guy that was in the original? I think so. I think. And um, uh, Gene Wilder didn't want people to trust Willy Wonka. I'm like, what? Mm. Do you like that scene of Willy Wonka where the girl becomes a blueberry? <laughs> uh, it depends. Are you talking about the original or are you talking about the Johnny Depp one? 
because the Johnny Depp one, that was really funny. As far as the original, they did some pretty good practical effects, you know, for the, for the early 70s. Aw, oh, damn it. All right. Yo, you want to hear something funny? Okay, so you know the stereotype that, like, Johnny Depp is in, like, every single fucking Tim Burton movie, right? And you know Tim Burton did the, uh, the remake, air quote, of Willy Wonka, right? Right. So, Tim Burton said in an interview... If for some reason Johnny Depp became unavailable, they were going to replace him with Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Willy Wonka. That wouldn't even be a good fit. <laughs> he was like, fucking... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dwayne The Rock Johnson has... I, I want to see that. <laughs> that would be interesting, but no. He's in like every movie ever recently. Like if I really, 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 really... Like he was in that movie with the Tooth Fairy. Mm, yeah. I so if that. they could get Dwayne the Rock Johnson to play the fucking Tooth Fairy, I want to see Dwayne the Rock Johnson <laughs> play Willy Wonka. Damn it! I, I, I think it'd be a real good fit, though. It'd be really funny. <laughs> it would, but at the same time, it'd just be weird. He doesn't give a shit either way. He's getting paid, man. To him, it's just a paycheck. That's true. What about Danny Trejo? Would you see Dan Danny Trejo as uh, Willy Wonka? Yeah. I want to see Danny Trejo. And as Willy Wonka, directed by fucking Robert Rodriguez. If Robert Rodriguez could do Spy Kids and Grindhouse, I want to see him do Willy Wonka. With Danny Trejo as the titular. Come on, tell me that wouldn't be awesome. It would be awesome, but I think people would... Eat some chocolate, pendejo! <laughs> yeah, I think people would be in. My name is Machete. <laughs> I think people would be very intimidated. Machete, don't tweet. <laughs> People would be very intimidated by that when we walk up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you remember that one? Do you remember that? It was uh, the one Machete movie where that blonde chick just hands him a cell phone. And he's like, what's this? And she's like, it's for, for uh, making calls, sending texts, uh, sending tweets. And he's just like, Machete, don't tweet. <laughs> 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 yeah. Machete, don't tweet. Yeah, according to my younger blood, wait, there actually was a good movie, but it took like place in space for some reason. Wait, Machete? Yeah. Oh shit, was it with Danny Trejo? Yeah. All right. Was it um, was it Robert Rodriguez? I'm not sure. I I didn't even know the third one existed, but according to my blood, it toy, was in space, right? Yeah. All right. My younger blood, toy, there was a third Machete movie, and it was, and it took place in space for some reason. All right. So, what do you know about the new Fast and the Furious, by the way? As far as the Johnny Depp movie, I thought that was pretty funny, but I I was more impressed with the with the with the uh, with the practical effects in the uh, in the original. Why well, I know because you got to remember back then there wasn't exactly a thing as CG. There was there wasn't really CG back then, so a lot of the stuff that they did in movies back then was all practical. Like it was like they did that shit for real, you know. Like they had to like you know do like very like real effects. So like whenever you see explosions and stuff in older movies. Those are real explosions, you know? Yeah. Um, that's, you know, you get, like, the, the practical effect is because they actually filmed that, you know? Um, but <clears throat> as far as the original goes, I like the practical effects. I thought because, it you know, it looked really good for the time. I can't think of any effects in that movie that did not hold up. Um, as far as the Johnny Depp one goes, uh, I just thought it was really funny because it was, you know, the CG was so bad. Deep Roy was every single fucking Oompa Loompa and they just digitally CG'd him all over the place. <laughs> Shout out to Deep Roy. You know, that guy was fucking funny. You know what? Here, hold on. You know what? There we go. But the noises sounded so real and the CG. Yeah, I know. I'm sure the noises were probably, you know, legit, but I don't... Yeah, the, the CG was just terrible. I'm sorry. Tim Burton does not know how to do CG. I'm sorry. The Tim Burton Batman movie looked better. Remember that scene in the Tim Burton Batman movie where the Joker had a pistol down his pants and he goes to pull it out and like the barrel's like six feet long and it was it was his pants. Yeah. It was he had that thing stuffed in his pants and he goes to pull it out and the barrel on the fucking pistol was like six feet long. <laughs> that that looked better. That one scene. The CGI of the blueberry. Do, do, did you like the noises? I don't remember what it sounds like because it's been a while, but um, I'm sure the sound effects were pretty good. Let me just measure this tasty fellow, shall we? It's 20. Oh, ew, gross. Yeah, no, I only have, I only have two. 
It's not just sea bass. It's 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 any fish. But I have to. I watched a girl drip f fried chicken in salt. Yikes! Fried chicken's already salty as it is. Yeah, who went all that salt? That's a uh, heart attack when you have to move. Yeah. Every time we go to McDonald's and Haley gets a Big Mac, she has to like, or no, it's, I can't remember if it's the Big Mac or the Quarter Pounder, but she's like, can you guys like not put salt on that? Cause like, have you ever got the, the, the Quarter Pounder from McDonald's? It's really salty. I don't give a shit. Oh, come on. Yes. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna keep going until I break my record just one more time. Even if it's like 45.1, I'll take that and we're just gonna end the stream. How long have we been streaming for, by the way? Uh, it doesn't say, but this does. Holy Ooh. shit, we've been, we've been live streaming for an hour and 11 minutes. That's just what this says. Mm, yeah. Oh, wait, no. According to this, it's been an hour and five minutes. Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna keep fishing until I break my record just one more time. Break my record one more time, baby. That's <laughs> not how the song goes. Yeah, I know. It's like the worst parody I think I could think of. No, but no, Fast and the Furious 9. Do you, do you know anything about that movie so far? Other than it's going to space? Wait. Yes, they're going to space in Fast and the Furious. I'm not fucking kidding. <laughs> really? I didn't know that. The only thing I really knew about it was John Cena. Was yeah. Really in, and they he's were, he's going to be... they were bringing back the, that one female villain from... Mm -hmm. the, but With she, the nukes where she was... Yeah. Yeah, but of course, for some reason, her hair is cut shorter and... Charlie Theron? Yeah. yeah. I mean, she kind of went bald for, you know, Mad Max. So I wouldn't see, you know... Yeah, that's true. I really that's... like Charlie Theron. I think she's great. What did you think that the noise of the blueberry? Uh, well, do you remember in E.T., the extraterrestrial? Do you remember the sounds he made when he was walking? That was mac and cheese. <laughs> they got a sound engineer and like they got a big tray of mac and cheese and they took a microphone. And there was a dude just mashing his hands in mac and cheese. And that's how they got the, the sound effect for uh, E.T. walking. So every time you hear E.T. walking, that's just a dude squishing mac and cheese. <laughs> so... Uh, what's the, uh, what's the answer for the blueberry noises from, uh, Willy Wonka? I know Cheesecake's gonna tell me, I know. I'm just, I'm just waiting for Cheesecake to type it. But yeah, no, that's a nice little behind the scenes fact for you. If you, uh, if you wanted to know, um... Yeah what E.T.'s footsteps actually were in real life. Huh. Never knew that. Dude, you want, okay, so do you, do you want to hear how they created the lightsaber noises? Oh, yeah, that's, that'd be actually interesting to know. So, what they did was, is they got a busted speaker uh, doing reverberation noises, and then what they did was, uh, they got a sound engineer. They they had a busted speaker with reverb noises, and they just put a mic up to it. That's how you get the humming noise. Right. But as you know, the noise when they're swinging the lightsabers, when they swing the lightsabers, the humming noises makes the you know for the swoosh. Mm. So when they were doing the lightsabers, they recorded you know uh, like a like an hour long loop of that humming noise on the one speaker that was busted. Mm. And then they played it back on a different speaker that wasn't busted. And then they had a sound engineer have a microphone like this. And they had like the big ass speaker and they had the microphone. And so what they were doing is, is they, they were playing the noise and then re-recording it on another mic in the guy's hand. And he was waving it around like this, getting the whooshes. <laughs> so it's just like... That's awesome. That's cool. Uh, hey, it's Gamer Roy. Uh, I'm assuming he says, do I want to play online? We do not have the modification to play online because we are playing on the Wii U, and I know you're playing on the Wii. I know that. So the answer is, yes, I want to play. However, I don't think we can because, like I said before, I would have to modify my Wii U, and everybody that I talk to says that I can't do that. So um, we're basically just stuck in single player. So I don't know how we're going to go about doing that, but... Uh, yeah, I do. I do want to play. I don't think I can play online. This this dude, he uh, he shows up to a lot of my streams too. Gameroy. 
And uh, he plays a lot of Animal Crossing City Folk on... Uh, he's got a hacked Wii where mm. he uh, he's still able to play online. Because I said the servers for this game shut down a while ago. But you can hack your you can hack your system to play online. Nice. Yeah, on fan made servers, which is great. But I can't do that on the Wii U because the Wii U I think has a security thing against that. So that kind of sucks. But I do I do have a way to uh, get the online stuff. Also, uh, in Haley's house, she's going for the lovely furniture, and I didn't know this that. Um, in order to get every single piece of lovely furniture, you need to go online and complete an online event that you could still technically do. Um, so it's uh, the uh, the lovely phone. And the way you get it is when you go online, um, there's a chance that a character uh, by the name of Caitlyn will show up in your in your house or in your in your in your town. Mm. Um, and if you find her, you're supposed to go talk to her and be like, "Wah! I lost my mommy. Can you help me find my mommy? And what you're, you're supposed to do in real world is you're supposed to get on the friend, on the phone with your friends that you went online with recently, because the way she gets lost is when you go online, you open up your gates. So anybody and everything can come in. Right. Mm -hmm. And occasionally this NPC will wander through the online world right into your your town and what you're supposed to do is if you uh if you find her you're supposed to get on the phone with your friends be like hey i found caitlin uh do you do any of you guys know where her mom is and so your friends are supposed to load up their save files and look for her mom and be like yeah i got her mom and like uh what you're supposed to do is you tell caitlin hey follow me and you go jump online and you go to your friend's uh, right, and sh then you re you reunite Caitlyn with her mom, and then they give you a gift. And one of the gifts that they give you is the lovely phone. Oh, okay. And I didn't know that, and so now Haley will not be able to have every single piece of the lovely furniture. At least I don't think. I don't. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that or not. And so this is like all of the lovely stuff, you know. It's like you got the this, you got, yeah. You know, she's got the couch, the table. This fucking thing is a pain in the ass to get. Because this is rare. You know, the the kitchen. So the lamp, the table, bed, it, all this stuff. And the wallpaper and the carpet. So, yeah. But she can't get the phone and that sucks. Yeah. That so really sucks. Like, uh, juice inside of her is like slushy and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's always like the worst thing like right after you drink a shit ton of water and you can feel the, you can feel the water sloshing in your stomach yep Haley really hates that but like I actually kind of like it and not like, like like a weird way it's just like you know it's just like it feels weird but it's it's like <laughs> Oh, my brain. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get, I, don't, I mean, oh, hey, it's the locust. I don't think I'm going to get the, uh, the knife jaw. I could try. I could certainly try. I mean, I'm half tempted to just keep fishing until six or at least until the, the, the fishing turn is over. I can't remember if it's 5 p.m. or if it's 6 p.m. I don't, I'm, I'm going to Google it in a little bit. Oh, Roblox. All right. Cool. I never actually messed with Roblox. I know it's free on Xbox. I know that, but I never messed with that. All right. That's worth some decent money. I mean, it doesn't even matter if, you know, I get the thing or not, because I'm still going to get money. Yeah. I need to save up a million dollars to get, um, to, to get that gold credit card. Cause I got the silver credit card, that's fine. But I don't I don't have the gold one yet. Actually, what's what credit card do I have? Oh shit, alright, well. Oh. What the fuck? 
Oh, okay. I bought I bought this hat for uh, for winter, because in the winter I'm gonna go ahead and change my hat. It's funny because you would be shocked. Oh, what the blueberry noises? Tell me about the blueberry noises. Cause now I'm curious. Uh, shit. Um, this is, this is my credit card, no, no, no. Okay, so it's just the regular card. Oh, you know what, I think if I want the silver card, I have to, I have to, you know, uh, request a new one. Cause I don't think they're just gonna send me the credit card. I, th I, don't, I have to, I have to go get it. I also like how it's not even a credit card, it's basically just like a debit card, you know? So like, if I, if I was broke and I wanted to, um... If I was broke and I wanted to buy something, but I had money in the bank, I could just go do that. I will tell you if you watch Lady Slips and Falls. Oh, God damn it! Oh, shit. Lady Slips and Falls, all right. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. I don't think that's a sea bass. I think that might be the night jaw. The only reason why I say that is because it's, it's the shadow is different. Are you serious? Oh, okay. Come on. God damn it. Really? Yeah, sometimes they just swim right through it. Alright. This might be the knife draw. So I gotta be ready. That was too long. Yeah, it's... Cause they they bite they bite and let go really quick. So if, if it's not the knife jaw, or if it was the knife jaw, like you have a split second to reel it in, otherwise you're just gonna miss it. Just, <laughs> bless you, Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Christ. But yeah, no, we gotta um There was a live stream that we did a long time ago. Not well, I mean it was, you know, it was a couple it was actually like two weeks ago. Wait, you know what? When did I catch the cola camp? Because I was we live streamed that. Oh, it was last month. It was on four thirty. Yeah, no, there was um we were live streaming and it was just like it was it was just, it just so happened to be raining. So I'm like, all right. It was raining like crazy. So I was like, okay, cool. And then. We, we live streamed and we caught the cold canth live on stream. All right, what did you want to hear about the blueberries? The noises or my story? Uh, we were talking about the noises. Tell you what, do the noises first and then your story. Wait, there's a story? Wait, what? I mean, I am paying attention to the chat, but like, I'm trying to keep up because, you know, it's like she's, she's getting spammed in the chat, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Did you see something? Okay, the noises. Be prepared. All right, I am prepared. My anus is ready. <laughs> that's probably... Oh, you know what? That's probably a Neon Tetra. I was going to get one from my house because I really like Neon Tetras. All right, hold on. But yeah, no, I had... Oh, what the... Okay, well it's gone. That's nice. No, I had an, I had an idea to uh, for like a for like a sequel series to this game. Out of the five Animal Crossing games that there are, I'm able to record uh, four of them. And uh, I uh, I was gonna. Well, I mean, we already started uh, New Horizons. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the other two that I am actually physically able to record with the current setup that I have is um, uh, the the GameCube one, the original DS one. You can hear all the juice inside of sloshing around, and when she's full of fully blueberry, there's even more sloshing. It's great. Okay, yeah, but what about the sloshing? I fed him, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what his problem is. 
Wow, the one time I actually want to get a sea bass and I can't fucking. Oh shit, alright. I saw that out of the corner of my eye. God oh, damn. It's uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's pretty fat. Yeah, what about yeah, what about the sloshing? I don't I don't get it. If this is the knife jaw, I'm gonna be really happy. Alright. Nice. Got his attention. That's good. The only Animal Crossing game that I'm not able to do is the 3DS one, so that's 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 you know, I'll take that. Alright. But yeah, no, I do. I do plan on doing, you know, the uh, the uh, the GameCube one and the, and the DS one. Not right now, but I do. I do plan on. I do plan on doing them. I feel like the GameCube one is gonna be the hardest. Oh shit! All right. This time you're not getting away. No. Oh shit. Yeah, oh. Really? Oh, okay. God, no! No! <laughs> shit! Oh, I just realized it's past four o'clock, so. Yeah. We could. Pr God damn it, where'd it go? It's awesome to eat food. <laughs> Hey, you want to hear something even better? That's two today, so that's like five thousand dollars right there because they're twenty-five hundred a piece. God damn it! That's five thousand dollars I'm not gonna get. Oh! God damn it! All right, okay. Jesus. All right, I've been waiting for you. Okay, being that it's 20 minutes till, I'm gonna go ahead and really quick uh, Google the, the fishing tourney. Actually, no, it's in the book. Hold on, it's in the book, hold on. All right, so sea bass. Oops, got, oh fuck, all right. Okay, you know what, the book is buried. I'm not gonna, hold on. The biggest entry so far. Okay, so I'm still in the lead. And it's entirely possible that it ends at five. I don't remember. I really don't remember. Cause it doesn't say. Or you know what, it might say on the bulletin board. It might, hold on. Eh. All right, take a sip of my Dr. Pepper. Then I spiked with a little bit of alcohol. All right. Okay. I mean, it's, you know, it's... If I would've got that a little while ago, that'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Cause then I, cause I had the, the, the record was 40 and then I went up to 44. So if I would have went from 40 to 42 and then 44 and now 45, that would have been three one ups. Somebody's texting me. Shut the fuck up Rizzo. Hey, what did you want to do for dinner tonight? By the way, I thought we were having dinner with your grandmother. What? Hold on. Shut the fuck up. Can I talk to you? Thank you. All right. Whatever happened to doing dinner with your grandma? So wait, so she's coming over, but we don't know what we're doing. Well, I know why the sloshing. I thought you were gonna say something about the sound effect, like the like the behind the scenes stuff. Cause I just said that whole thing about ET with his uh, with his feet. It's macaroni and cheese. I thought you were gonna give me something behind the scenes. All right, see what this is. Oh, okay, all right, well then, okay, you know what? Just one more time, I wanna just, I just wanna one up myself one more time. I think I might, wait, no. Cause it was 45 even, right? Yeah. And it said about, for, is Matt, wait, is it? Hold on, hold on. We're not doing dinner with my grandma. She's just coming over for a little bit. To, oh, God damn it, all right, well. Okay, well, shit. Okay, so. Oh, yes, but I don't know how they did it, but I think they shook a thing of liquid. Yeah. Mm. You know, it almost sounds like a, like a, like a, like a metallic drum with some sort of fluid in it. Mm. Now that I think about it. 
That's probably what, you know, that's probably what they did. I'd like to sell, please. Alright, so... The Roger Brook, which is a lot of money. This is a lot of money. This is a little bit of money. And then that's, you know, that's whatever. Okay. It's my pom-pom hat. Oh, yes. Lots of money. Thank you so much for shopping. But why wasn't she leaking juice? Well, I mean, does your body leak blood? Like... That's a fluid that's inside you, and that's that doesn't leak unless you you know get cut or something. Yeah, I mean, you say I poked a hole in her. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming if you poked a hole in her, she, yeah, she would leak juice everywhere. But and then Willy Wonka was just like, yeah, we're gonna take her to the juicing room and we're gonna squeeze her. <laughs> yeah. Or we're gonna we're gonna squeeze all the juice out of her. Okay, like I said, oh, you know what, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look this up, hold on. Oh, wait, hold on, god damn it. I would ask you, Jordan, to, uh, to Google it, but, hold on. Come on. He's testing my patience. Alright. See, bass... Uh, Animal Crossing, uh, City, Folk, I don't know how much, I know how much it's worth, it's worth 160, I just want to know how big the damn thing was, or what it's maximum size is, if it's 45 even, I'm gonna be fairly happy, okay, this says it's average size is 39, but what's the max size? Fishing tourney. Capture quotes. I caught the sea bass. That's in Wild Worlds. City Folk. It just says about 40 inches. Alright, okay, alright, fuck this. This is not. Hold on. God damn it. I just wanna know. Okay. Wait, alright. Max. Max size C C bass Yeah, more costing. Here we go. All right. It just says about 40 inches. You can't you can use a lure to catch these fish in the sea. It's not an easy fish to bring in. Oh wait, no, that's like actual like actual fish fish. It's come on. Sea bass, Animal Crossing. This is from Nookopedia, so hold on. Blah. These are really not a thing for max size. Are you serious? That's the original on the GameCube. Hold on. Oh, wow. That looks weird. God, those graphics are so bad. Wow, that almost looks like Wind Waker. Do you see that? Yeah. All right, now I'm starting to get pissed off. I just want... Okay, wait. Oh, you know what? Here, hold on a second. This never seemed to let me down. That... Okay, now it let me down. All right. Okay, so this one that I'm seeing right here is 45 and a half inches, so... Apparently, I can one-up myself. Yeah. God damn it. All right, you know what? doesn't really tell you what, if that's a max, though, or not, but... You know, at least we have a rough idea. Yeah. I mean, so basically I can go another half an inch, so. But my question is, when does the fishing tourney end? God damn it. Real.
really... I just want to know what time it ends. I mean, I know I'm wasting time, I know this. It'll tell me. It'll flash something up on screen saying, hey, you got 10 more minutes. Yeah. This is, this isn't. Okay, so right here, this is for the, this is for New Horizons. It says from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. That, but that's for New Horizons. I specifically typed city folk. Come on. Animal Crossing City Folk. It, again, it says CJ, which that's in the new game. What day, what is the rarest fish? Can you win? No, all right, all right. These, this is really starting to piss me off. I know that the answer is written in the book. I know that, but I don't feel like digging out the damn book. All right, go back to the stream real quick. Jason, well, they are somehow close to dying. Oh shit. Wait. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tanya, person who turned into the berries. Uh, in a world of my own largest berries will die. Oh, Jesus Christ. So wait, no, she's gay. Is that like a fanfic that you have or like what? Cuz I've written plenty of fanfics before, but that's that's really cool. All right, that's not anything worth Oh, Jesus, I just noticed something. The graphics on the TV, uh... Do you see how the sky is, like, all fucked up like that? Yeah. I don't know what that is, but... That's definitely not my TV. It's gotta be the game. Alright, so I, I know that's not a knife draw, because it, it, it bit and it stayed for a while. Yeah, no, we, we, got, we just got Midge uh, when, uh... When Drake moved out, uh, Midge moved in right, right in his house. I like Midge. Oh shit, there's a ton of fish over here, so. I don't think any of these are the knife jaw, so. I'm only gonna get one of the, well, I'm gonna get both, but. Oh, you bitch. Really? Shoe. Yeah. Damn. Watch this be another shoe. Well, I'm supposed to put this in the recycling bin, just that way it gets taken to the dump, but... What I did, uh, I had a villager that I really hated because he was constantly bullying um, Drake. And I loved Drake. Drake was cool. Um, when I started this game, I had a duck named Drake and I had a duck named Miranda. All I was missing was Josh, right? Mm -hmm. So... Oh, oh, what the fuck? Okay, all right. That might have been you, fish. No, I don't, I don't think it was the, uh, the one. It wasn't big enough. Do you like berries? Uh, I kind of like the citrus berry from Pokemon, you know? That's a good berry. Chesto berry, that's another good one. In uh, Sword and Shield, if you have four Orin berries and you put them in the crafting machine, you get a Black Sludge, which is pretty cool. Which is weird because they're not even the, the berry that cures poison. Mm. I don't remember, I think it's the, the Pecha berry. In Pokemon? I don't know. I lost track of that shit a long time ago. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Okay. No, in, in, in Sword and Shield, they added a crafting mechanic where you could um, put a bunch of shit in a crafting thing and it spits out, like, really good items and stuff. Yeah. Berries in the fanfic. Yes, I do, actually. I didn't know that's what you were talking about, but yes. <laughs> Wait. Oh, ooh. That's a big boy. That's a, that's a big boy. Okay, okay, I got his attention. I was about ready to reel it in. If you have their attention, you reel it in. You will lose it.
Oh, god damn. All right, well. Do I even have one or no? I do. I didn't know that. Alright. Tanya, the berries are close to dying. But it's fine. Damn, it's dark. That's like, you know, if like somebody in Attack on Titans is just like, oh yeah, there's Titans. It's fine. It's just desensitized to it. Do you think Levi is desensitized to Titans? He's just like, oh great, a Titan. Yay. Whatever will I do? I'm so helpless. <laughs> Levi's anything but helpless. Yeah, no shit, yeah. <laughs> he's kind of deranged, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I mean, he's also an Ackerman. Yeah, that's true. Spoilers. That's true. So is Mikasa, though. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I know, I know, I know Mikasa is an Ackerman, I know that. But like, yeah, no, and like, I was watching Attack on Titan with, with Haley, and it's like, she's just like, wait, so does that mean that, you know, they're cousins or something like that? Like, I don't know. That just means they're related. I don't know if they're like, you know. Oh shit, all right. That actually might be it, because it's, I don't think that's the sea bass, if it is. Yeah. Are you raising your hand? Would you like to, <laughs> would you like to ask a question? <laughs> Class is in session. I was stretching my hand just happened to come up. <laughs> ah, damn it. It went behind your back. No, it's just when he does that, it's just he's not gonna cast the line, which I fucking hate that. Like I'm standing in the water. If he looks at me. Uh, Alright. Uh, yeah. You have questions about the berries. I do not actually. But it's uh it's good. I'm just really oh shit, okay, I'm just really trying to get this fish. Alright, it's not it's not the knife draw, I know that. Cause when it bit I I uh I fucked up and I didn't bite or I didn't get it. Okay. So, all right. So I have what three sea bass? No, I only have two. Okay. I'm gonna go take a look at the river real quick, just to see if I can't find the angelfish. Cause the angelfish shows up around four, and it's 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 like four to nine a.m. I think. It's so that's, 4 yeah. Yeah, I know. So I have until nine a.m. to go get it. But yes. Uh, it's also the angelfish is like really tiny. It's like the size of the goldfish, so. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a diving beetle. Cool. Those go away at five. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch this dude. I, there's really no need for me to, because I already have it, but. Yeah, no, I'm completely caught up on the bugs. But once June rolls around, it's gonna be a fucking night. Oh, god damn you. All right. Yeah, once June rolls around, it's gonna be a real nightmare trying to get all the bugs. Oh, damn it! It moved. Wait. Wait. Yeah, maybe. Oh. No, too far. Gosh, damn it. All right. <laughs> it seems like it's, it knows you try and catch it or something. Ah, uh, well. It's gonna blow me. It's a pretty big fish right there. All right, I'm not asking permission anymore.
All right, really quick, let's go turn. Yeah, that that that's Miranda, by the way. Jordan, they're after you. Oh boy. Yeah. Nah, it's just a whammy lance. I say that all the time, and people are just like, "What did you say?" I was like, "It's called a whammy lance." It's like, why do you call it that? Just like, listen to the noise that it makes. Go for it. <laughs> All right, it's not even close. Uh. I'm pretty sure it's 6 p.m. because I would have heard the uh, notification by now that it's almost over. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I got it. I don't think in the one hour, somebody's gonna one up my 45 inches, so. I'm gonna go ahead and just take it in stride. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna keep, you know what? I'm gonna stop fishing for the, uh, uh, for the sea bass. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going for, um, I'm gonna keep going for the, uh, the angel fish. Cause it's right now it's like one of the only fish that I need. I need the angel fish and I need the knife jaw. The knife jaw doesn't want to seem to show up, so I'm gonna just, you know, keep fishing in the river. That's, I don't know if that's too big, hold on. I have to, here, I'm, if I am gonna cast the line, I'm gonna do it right here. Oops. Where the fuck's my fishing rod? Jesus. All right. We're not going to juice them. Wait, you sure those berries won't explode? I don't know. Might. All right, that's a loach. That actually goes away at the end of the month. I already have it though. It was it was first available in March, and I think it goes away in a. Uh, yeah, it goes away in June. Yeah, no, there's a shit ton of bugs in June. And the only month, the only month that fireflies are available is June, and they're available for like four hours a day. Mm. So, yeah. Oh, what? So what did you... Hold on. We can do whatever you want for dinner, babe. We're live. Actually... That's not even what I wanted to say. Hundred bucks says she's gonna get mad because I didn't pick something for dinner. Like, why are you putting that on me? It does kind of suck live streaming while I'm fishing because like, I need to pay attention to fish, but I also want to like pay attention to the chat. So it's, it's, I don't know. It's one of those things where I was like, my attention is divided. I don't know what this fish is, but it's not something that I need. I know that. Much be a catfish. Uh. Oh, it's a carp. It's a pretty big carp. You know what I am going to do is I'm going to go right here. Just, just cause I'm curious. Cast my line out, take a look in the ocean. All right, and then the river's up here. Oh shit, that's an orchid mantis. That's $2,400. Assuming I don't blow it. Oh shit. Yes, got it, all right, 24 bucks. Yeah, they only spawn on white flowers, and they're rare, for some reason. Oh. Well, I mean, like, I have a shit ton of white flowers to just manipulate the uh, uh, odds of them spawning, so. Ah, oh, god damn it, all right. All right, well, there goes 5, 5 p.m., so the diving beetles are gone. And I think the pond skeeters are also gone, so that's fine. Oh shit! Oh, okay, that's, that was way off.
It was a yellow balloon, so it might be money. Oh, alright, well. Okay, alright. I know I said I was gonna stick around the river, but I'm, I'm right here, so... Yeah, no, the uh, the fishing tourney is, is gonna go on for like another hour, but I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna stream for another hour because I do have that thing with Haley's grandma tonight, so I'm... we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna call it. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna stop at. Oh shit! All right, hold on. Yo, there's two of them right here. Holy shit. All right. Okay, so these these might be something. When I grow up, I'm going to be something. It's not what I want it to be, but... If you collected juice from the berries, would you... What would you... What do I do with it? Uh... What kind of berries? Are we talking like the Willy Wonka berries? Like, just chewing on the piece of gum turned, you know, what's her face into the, you know, the thing. I, I can only imagine what drinking the juice would do to you. That'd be crazy. Oh, okay. Swap it for something. Okay, I didn't know my pockets were full. Ah. Uh, and the boot. You know, I mean, I'm just gonna. Okay, all right. I need to throw that out of the recycling bin. Because if I just leave that on the floor, it's gonna be like it's considered garbage. And if I just leave garbage on the floor, it's it's gonna give me a negative uh, thing. Mm. And I should also probably sell that orchid mantis. So Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka, and the chocolate factory. Who were the Oompa Loompas in the original? Was it was it just one person? Or did they get like an army of them? Cause in the in the Johnny Depp one, it was just one dude, and they just CG'd him everywhere. Mm, I think in the original it was multiple people. I think I can't imagine though. What you want to do? I got a forty-one incher. No, I don't. It's total bullshit. <laughs> and all my exes would attest to that. <laughs> All right, it's probably the last one. I'm gonna call it a 5.15. At 5.15, I'm done. Oh shit, all right. I said I was gonna one up myself. All right, let's go ahead and edit the thing real quick. Point six, bitches. All right. Point six, current record. Cool. Save. All right. Yes, groovy. Or is it is gravy? That's right. Man, can you imagine putting gravy on your fish? God. Well, I mean, if it's like mushroom gravy. And uh, no, I think I. Am. If I'm gonna eat fish, it would have to be with tartar sauce. Yeah, but that's like the that's like the, the answer that everybody would say. It's like everybody's gonna put tartar sauce, or even like cocktail sauce. I haven't tried it with cocktail sauce. I don't, that'd be a weird kind. That's like that's just what people do with um shrimp. Yeah, it's that red shit, right? You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, chat's reloading. Imagine if you drank juice straight out of the berries. Would you drink from? Ooh. I don't know. This is a very good question. Right, I want to sell. I'm gonna sell that. I don't know what the weeping fig is. All right. Decent. Ow! Fuck! Ow! Decent money. I just, I think I just broke my toe. I don't know how I did that. What the fuck? Oh. 
I was about to say, where the fuck's my fishing rod? But probably. All right. Okay. All right. A weeping fig. Nope. I know what these are. Those are those are gifts for other people. Thank you so much for shopping. I know. All right. All right. So I did one up myself. I did. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, you know what? You know what? Before. Okay. So. Real quick, I'm gonna go pick up that piece of garbage because if I do, it's just, it's gonna give me a negative town rating. Cause like, I'm trying to get a perfect town rating so I can get that, you know. All right, pick this up. That way it's not on the floor. Yeah, maybe you can sell it. <laughs> no, you can't. Oh. And Tom Nook doesn't accept garbage for some reason. Oh. All right, I'm gonna take one more sweep of the river because I know the angelfish is gonna stick around for a while. I don't want to get too comfy and just be like, oh, hey, yeah, I'll catch it later, but. I don't know, because, like, that's what exactly what I did with the tuna, and I got I got way too comfortable with the tuna. I'm like, I'll just get it later. And then now it's, it's not going to be available again until November. So now I'm going to spend all of November and all of December looking for that fucking fish. And that's going to suck all the fun out of this, because, like, I mean, it's really fun at the beginning of the month because, like, all the new stuff shows up and I have all month to get it. You know? Mm. I don't remember... Yeah, it was the octopus. The octopus uh, was available in January and for some reason in February it went away temporarily and then just came back immediately in March. I'm like, what's the point of that? Hmm. What's the point of that? Right. Those, they're too big. I mean, but hey, I got, you know. I got the money, it's fine. All right, there's nothing right here. There's nothing right here. I'm just trying to get. All right, so I'm assuming you're talking about the berries. Are you talking about the juice from the girl? Because I wouldn't, if it was in the girl, I'm not drinking it. Cause that's right there, that's just weird. Where would you drink the juice from, Jordan? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know, probably, uh, no comment. <laughs> it's too much. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a little uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, I'm not right-handed with this, so hold on. Fuck is that? All right, that's a black bass. All right, the juice from the berries. Oh, uh, should I put it in a juicer and squeeze it? I guess I don't know. Maybe. That's probably what I would do. <laughs> I thought she was talking about from the girl. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> drinking that. Yeah. Would that, would that, would that count as cannibalism or no? <laughs> it's not necessarily cannibalism. You think about it. Yeah. Um, but still, that's you know, it's, a, it's a human being, you know? I don't, I'm not touching that. What do you think happened to the juice that they squeezed out of What's-Her-Face? In Willy Wonka? Hmm. Who knows? That's just nasty right there. The belly button. Jesus. All right, Th 300 and, okay. Cool. Right. Minimize that, hit this. All right. Yeah, no, I need to have a million dollars in the bank. Yo, are you gonna have any time for New Horizons? We're not doing New Horizons today, no, we, uh, uh, in about in approximately five minutes at 5.15 p.m. Uh, Chicago time, uh, I have to go take Jordan home because I'm doing uh, I'm doing a thing with uh, Haley's grandma. So that's going to be real nice. But yeah, no, we, uh, we're ending the stream in like five minutes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cozy.
And it's not it's not that I don't want to do New Horizons. I do. I just not gonna have time for it now. Dude, we got our first Patreon of the day, and a guy gave me 20 bucks, and I was like, all right, so I want to go get a thing of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you know? Oh, is that what those packs are out there for? No, 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 those are, those are for my kids. Oh. I told Haley about this, where I was like, I've been buying, like, a shit ton of Yu-Gi-Oh cards uh, for my kids, you know? Where, um... I don't. It's, they're not first edition, but I have uh, I have LOB. I have Metal Raiders, uh, just because like how funny would it be if the very first pack that my kid ever opened was LOB, and people would just be like, "Damn, how old are your kids?" And, you know, they're you know they're brand new, but like, hell, LOB was from when I was a kid. That was the very first set of the game. It was the Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon? That's what the LOB stands for. Uh, and then I don't remember the abbreviation for Metal Raiders, but I, I do, I know for a fact that Metal Raiders was the second ever set. I know that. Um, and then I don't know what the third set was. Come on, it's not weird. I never said it was. Oh, shit. All right, all right well, I messed up on that fish. I never said it was weird. I'm just saying I'm not, I'm not going to touch that because it's just weird. Well, no, wait, you know what? God damn it, I just said that. Yeah, no. God damn it. Yeah, you did. Well, no, because like... It's a human being, man. Yeah, I mean, I would try to be respectful, but like the <laughs> the privilege in me. <laughs> no, I'm gonna end it right there. Like, use your imagination. <laughs> there was a scene in uh, Supernatural where I think Sam and Dean get stuck in purgatory for a little bit. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, no, and then, um. They captured a bunch of like lizards and shit, and like they they threw it on a on like a little campfire and they were you know grilling it up because they were trying to they, were, they they needed something to eat because like you know because that's something you do is like when you're trapped in purgatory you need to eat right uh -huh. and uh, Dean takes a bite out of it he's like oh dude yo do you know what this tastes like and then Sam's just like if you say chicken I'm gonna punch you <laughs> he's like dude it tastes like lizard. <laughs> <laughs> You say chicken, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> but yeah, no, and then um, uh, they hear a growl of a giant monster in the distance, and uh, Sam and Dean both look at each other and like, Is it, do you think it's time to go? And like, yeah, it's time to go. And they're like, they go to like pack up their shit because they were gonna go leave, and like Dean goes and sets down his lizard on a stick, and uh, they go to walk away. And then Dean turns around, goes back for the lizard on the stick, and then, you know, runs away from the giant monster. And then people are just like, that is such a Dean thing to do. Because, like, uh, the actor behind Dean, uh, Jensen Ackles, was just like, Dean would never leave food behind. So he, he went back for the lizard on the stick so he could eat it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, do you know what this tastes like? If you say chicken, I'm going to punch you. This tastes like lizard. <laughs> Tastes like lizard. You can't fault him for that. Nope. You, you can't fault him for that. All right. <laughs> and on that note, it is, it is 5.15 in the, in the PM. Uh, I got to go drop Jordan off back at his house, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. All the good social media stuff. If you want to support us on Patreon, go ahead and do that. We appreciate it every single one of our patrons, and we will see you guys next time. Peace out. Later. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to get one more sip of my drink. Yeah. My little drinky drink. Wait. What? Oh. It's just juice cheesecake. Oh, is this a quote? Yeah. It is just juice. All right. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for everybody who came to the stream. Commodore, Cheesecake, Cozy, all those guys. Even Gamer Roy, even though I'm pretty sure he was only here to leave the comment, but I don't, I don't know, um, I don't know if he's he stuck around or not. But Cozy Cheesecake Commodore Gamer, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.